You know, whenever I read this verse, I have to think of a little anecdote I read years and years ago, and I'm sure most of you have probably heard it or read it, of the young lady who was attending a university, and somebody gave her a book to read, and she tried and tried to get interested in it and never could. She'd read the first chapter and put it up. And uh, a few weeks later, she'd try again, and she could never get in, so finally she just put it up on her bookshelf and forgot about it. But uh, by the time she was a senior at the university, she had fallen in love with one of her professors. Turned out that he was the author of this book. And then all of a sudden, she just couldn't devour it enough, and her roommate, who had been with her from her early freshman days, says, well, what in the world? I thought that was the book you could never get interested in. She says, it is. She says, and why are you reading it now? Because she says, I've fallen in love with the author. Well, you see, that's the secret. When you fall in love with Christ, you cannot exhaust this book. It is just unfathomable. And you'll just keep seeing new things pop up all the time. And you think, well, now why didn't I see this before? Well, you see, God, just like he told Israel when they went into the land of milk and honey, or they could have gone in, he says, I won't drive them all out at once. I'll drive the Canaanites out just fast enough so that you can absorb it and you can take over the land. Well, that's what he does with the Scripture. See, he doesn't unload it all on us at once. It, it just keeps coming and coming. And, uh, my, I could just go for another half hour showing you verses that I never saw until maybe within the last year or two. And uh, I know there's going to be more coming. I, I just know it.